would you like to be involved in the longest running festival of the outdoor arts? Well, Hat Fair in Winchester is looking for volunteers for its 2019 event, and last year saw 79,000 people attending. So Hat Fair is an international performing arts festival. Uh, we don't sell hats, uh, unless maybe well, there's a, a stall, one of our market stalls might. It is a very common <laughs> misconception. A lot of people do think well, it's to do with hats, but it's to do with they collect the money at the end in the hats, yes. and that's a tradition that's been going on for years. Yes. So we still have the what we call the hatters as part of the festival. Uh, typically we might have about 10 or so hatters coming each year, and as Toby says, they collect money. They do very well in the hats at the end of the show, but uh, it's much more than that. It's, it, it's dance performances, it's circus performances, it's uh, street theatre, it's walkabout acts, it's music, it's yeah. choirs, it's every type of performance and visual art that you can imagine in outdoor spaces and in uh, interesting spaces across the city. It was brilliant to sort of get a lot of people together to watch such a spectacle, yeah. that's how I would describe it. And for Winchester communities, uh, it's a joyous celebration of the streets and the parks and the, this brilliant city that we live in. Uh, it brings the public of all ages uh, out for an entire weekend. We have this incredibly beautiful city with very historic spaces, uh, both green spaces and urban spaces. But also we have a very strong focus on local community. The Hatters is all, also what makes Hat Fair very special because uh, they're not your usual street busker. These are incredibly talented, unusual, extraordinary international acrobats, circus artists, singers, performers. Uh, and people come every year to see the Hatters alongside everything else. So I think those are some of the things that makes Hat Fair quite special. David Craddock has been a familiar face at Hat Fair, both as a volunteer and a performer. It's, it's just fun to be involved, uh, to see the smile on people's faces when they, um, when they watch stuff that just springs out from behind a hedge or, or just performs in front of them. They, they, they just aren't expecting that. And, and to see the surprise and, and smiles on their faces is, is just magic. So it's just lovely to be involved in that and, and feel that you're part of, of that magic. So we sort of do a number of things. We'll help with the acts, help them around, sort of make them teas and stuff. We'll go around and help people around the area if they don't know where they're going. Uh, we will collect money at the end, which all goes towards the charity that we are collecting for. Um, and I think you can apply online, can't you, Andrew? You certainly can. Uh, so volunteers get involved with all sorts of the festival. They uh, they keep the festival ticking over. Uh, they look after, help us look after the visiting artists. And of course, we have artists coming from literally all parts of the world. Uh, we're a truly international festival. Uh, we the volunteers also help run the production base. They help collect donations from the public. They are the public face of the festival. We're both wearing. Uh, volunteer t-shirts from last year which as you can see are very zingy <laughs> in their yellow and blue and deliberately so because we want our volunteers to be very visible as the public face of the festival and and we try to give them a good time as well you know yeah, we yeah. look after them they get fed uh, they get <laughs> trained the festival begins on the first weekend of july and according to the director it's not one to miss sam delamore winchester today at the theatre royal